10 reasons Christians should by Night to the Voice. Me and Kurt, our mom, Herg, have put this article together and every word that has been put in this article lines up with the Word of God. First reason, stop judging by mere appearance. I mean, words of Jesus in John 7.24, Reverend here, stop judging by mere appearance, but instead judge correctly. And that is important. So the government saying that we, us indigenous people, are all behind the voice. But I'm not one of them. And there's many others that are not behind the voice. Reason two, avoid hypocrisy. Jesus warned, be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. People behind the voice are saying that this stolen land, that should be given back. So we might as well, you know, if you hand it back, knock all down the buildings, you know, the Sydney Opera House, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh, let's knock down Toronto too and everything else that this nation of people have built together on this nation. So let's get over it and come together in unity. Reason three, children ain't guilty for their parents' sins. God declares in Ezekiel 18.20, the one who sins is the one who will die. The child will not share the guilt of the parent, nor will the parent share the guilt of the child. I'm not guilty of my family's sins. I am guilty of my own sins. And, and my, I've got children, and my guilt sin is not carried on to them. So what I'm saying is that what happened 235 years ago happened then with my family and my ancestors. And I should not be carrying that guilt because I really don't want to carry that guilt because I don't want this guilt to carry on to my next generation. So what I'm saying is the children ain't guilty for their parents' sin because guilt should not be going on and on and on. Reason four, keep away from those who cause division. God declares in Romans 6, 16, 17, 18, I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to your teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattering, they deceive the minds of naive people. So what I'm saying is that the people behind the voice, you know, they're dividing, dividing the Aboriginal people because I tell you you've got radical Aboriginals and you've got genuine Aboriginals that you know want to, to, to go forward in, in forgiveness and unity but you've got a, got a group that are causing division by this voice because of their own agenda They're, to me it's revenge Reason five, do not show favouritism. You know, God asks in James 2, 4, have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Look, I was one of these people that was discriminated against people of many nations. You know, and our Lord has hit my heart and, and I have come and I forgive and I love them. Yes, let's come together and not to favour one race and, and forget the other race, you know, I was saying to a brother, if me and my white mate went and got a Happy Meal, he wouldn't be allowed because he's white. I'm allowed because I'm Aboriginal. It should not work that way. But I'll tell you, I'll still share my Happy Meal with my white brother. Reason six, let no one take you captive by your hollow philosophy. White guilt and critical race theory are examples of a hollow philosophy that Scripture urges us to avoid. See to that that no one takes you captive through the hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends on human tradition and the and, and the mental spiritual force of this world rather than on Christ. So I'm just going to put it in, you know, Aboriginal people, we've got to stop carrying on the, the, the victimhood. White people, could you stop carrying on the guilthood? Let's come together. Reason seven, put up the falsehood and speak truthfully. In Ephesians 4.25, therefore each of you must... Put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbours. We're not being told the truth. We have been lied to. 
you know, not only the Indigenous people, but the white people too. You know, there's 11 Indigenous members of Parliament in Canberra. You know, we've got senators, we're already making our voice heard. Why are we bringing these extra, extra uh, people in the voice? What I'm saying, I'm going to put it down quick and short, is that Aboriginal people, white people, let's stop listening to the BS and, and listen to the truth, and the truth will set us free. Reason eight, get rid of bitterness. You know, in Ephesians 4, 31 to 32, show us a better way. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind, compassion to one another, forgive each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. I like this reason because it's very important to my heart. See, I grew up with bitterness against white people and other Pacific Islanders, and I grew up with that. And then God changed my heart and took that unforgiveness out of my heart and forgive. So I've been sharing forgiveness around this nation for a few years now. And so I've been asking forgiveness on my behalf as an Aboriginal man to everybody, you know. And the voice is not sharing, sharing that forgiveness. It's bringing bitterness out of the Aboriginal people, you know. And we have to stop and come together in unity because bitterness is is poison and once you receive that poison you know you, you have to come to God for him to deliver you from that bitterness so there's a lot of bitterness in families and I know that for a fact because in my family there's bitterness so there is brawling there's slanders there's rage there's anger towards each other but we need to share this share this forgiveness into our families and then in the community and then the nation and yes, I love every single one of you. And the reason nine, do not seek the praise of man. Uh, because of the Pharisees, they would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear they would be put out of the synagogue for they loved human praise more than the praise from God. That's in John 12, 42. 43. What I'm saying is make up your own mind, make your decision. You know, let no man tell you what you shouldn't and what you shouldn't do. We've got corporations, we've got sports, we've got everybody involved in this voice. Well, I can tell you one thing, corporation, look after your business, do not worry about the politics. Sports, worry about sports. Stop worrying about what's happening in the politics. And also, make your own decision. I mean, we all grew up telling our children, oh, if your friend told you to jump off the bridge, would you jump off it? Doesn't this sound like what's happening? Make your own decisions. Reason 10, the deliverance is in Christ alone. We well, know Jesus said this, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption and forgiveness of sins. I understand this. I grew up sexually, physically, mentally and racially abused because of the colour of my skin. For me to deal with that trauma, I was on drugs and alcohol for 36 years until I reached to the bottom and the Lord grabbed me and took me out of that pit of condemnation, the trauma, and delivered me from the unforgiveness that I had in my heart against people persecuting me, you know. I mean, even my own people. So the Lord has delivered me and replaced it with forgiveness, love and unity. And now, you know, Sharing that forgiveness, love and unity is to help people to overcome what, whatever darkness they're going through. It doesn't matter who you are, black or white, green, red. I'm about reaching out and sharing this with all people so we can all come together to love one another, come into unity and let not nobody, not the corporation, not the government, not the voice to separate that unity and that love and that forgiveness the Lord has for us in this nation. I know we've got radical black groups, we've got radical white groups, we've probably got many colour radical groups, but they're not going to stop the deliverance of God over our nation for his children. He's more powerful than anything that we are going into the natural. He's more powerful than the government, the voice. But all he wants, 
his children to come together in forgiveness, come together in unity and to love one another and to pursue him.